Hi guys, welcome back. It's time to check out and do a some performance test between the OnePlus 5 versus the best of the Google. Now, I've done the same test uh, with the OnePlus devices earlier with the Pixel phones like OnePlus 3T and 3. In all of these cases, OnePlus devices are working super fast and always, you know. So, Google Pixel devices and Nexus devices are never meant for, you know, super sharp or snappy performance. They are meant for software showcase, you know, which always runs smooth. So, Google never tries to put a lot of specs on the phone. They just give what is needed for the Android because technically, Android is not yet designed to utilize all the applications with the provided amount of RAM. While an example, OnePlus 5 is having 8 gigabytes of RAM, but still is only usable till 5 gigabytes by the Android and rest of them may be used for the device itself. So guys, let's go ahead and see uh, speed test between these two devices and this time it is you know, pretty different here. Uh, my Google Pixel is running the Android O so I feel that Android O is running much faster compared to when it was running Android Nougat. So it is in depth review 3 but still guys is quite stable. So why not just go and check it out and see you know which device uh, works faster in which way. So the best of the Google Android O versus the OnePlus 5 running on the Android Nougat. So earlier when it was running Android Nougat, the so pixel was taking here about 1 minute 2 seconds to boot. Let's go and see. So that's why I told you can see the pixel boots super fast here. So Android O is really bringing a lot of stuff in the newest flagship of the Google. So we got the both device back and they are running the default stock launcher. So starting with the Facebook here. So smaller applications they generally launch fine. So there is not much difference. Indeed, I have enabled the software keys just to match the pixel layout. So Twitter running almost uh, faster here on OnePlus 5. YouTube native application from the Google. So pretty much same on both the phones. Instagram. So you can see smaller applications they launch faster. Let's see about the Pokemon Go. How about they do goals here? So looks like it's getting faster here on this one here. OnePlus 5 is going a little bit faster as you can see. Well, super quick here. And Pixel is slightly behind, not too much, just two seconds different at all. Temple and two, how about these two guys? It matches here, green, green. OnePlus 5, as expected, and doing great here. So I wanted to actually check guys the memory here. with the four gigabytes of RAM, how much things you know are in the memory to keep up with the eight gigabytes of RAM. That is my more important question here. So we are going to see those things. So generally now here you can see I told you uh, Pixel devices and Nexus are not made for super fast performance. Obviously OnePlus 5 has edge here, but how about the memory whenever we are going to check out those things? Even at the beta stage, how good Android O? So. Do not take this speed test as a deciding factor between the Google versus OnePlus 5 devices. Which one should you go? I'm just doing this casually just to check out the memory management thing here. I'm really uh, hoping very good from the Google's Android O. Even on the beta, you can see it's too much time here on the pixels to load the stuff. Uh, near about a 5 second difference here. Let's go and check out and see for the x Fall 8. So, should be faster here on OnePlus 5. Yeah, we got it here and Pixel is still loading. So as always, uh, Pixel is taking a little bit of time always. So, uh, these devices are not meant for a crazy high amount of RAM. And here we go. Let's go and check it out. x Stream. So fast here on this one here. 4 to 5 seconds difference but it's still 821 versus 835 so much difference here and even there is a double amount of RAM on the OnePlus 5 so you should be expecting double the performance in terms of speed actually let's go check out facebook.com which will launch faster there so faster here on OnePlus 5 sorry the google pixel let's see about the twitter.com you guys can see this android o notification dots here how cool it is looking here so near about the same time slightly millisecond here on OnePlus 5 YouTube uh, slightly faster on OnePlus 5 Google News faster here on OnePlus 5 so it's very rainy season here as you can see it's raining pretty much daily so what I'm managing my time so settings application faster on OnePlus 5 Google Maps Loading first year OnePlus 5, so almost all the places you can see is always same. So I'm not going to check out those things here. And let's go quickly do a real-time conversion test. So I'm going to convert a 1080p 60fps video to the 4K. 
So guys, I got a 1080p 60fps film clip of 30 seconds duration. So we are going to convert it to 4K. Let's see which one converts that to the 4K first. So if you guys wanted to me uh, do for the Android Nougat, uh, maybe you install Android Nougat and give you guys a new test. So uh, OnePlus 5 is done 15% uh, behind here on the Google Pixel. Not a big deal, and that's okay. So now, guys, let's do some memory test here and see whatever apps and games we have launched. How much? How many of them are still in the memory? So that's going to be very important thing for us to check it out. This is where I was so excited to test that out. So I'm not voting with a small application. So uh, reloaded by this one here and this one here retains on the memory. So Twitter. Refresh on both the phones, YouTube, about to reboot, uh, reset on both the phones. So it looks like it kept the data, Instagram, looks like in the memory. So here we go, let's see, how about all the games here, so Pokemon Go, uh, both calls reloaded. So I don't really understand guys why OnePlus is reloading all the games it got so much amount of RAM. I can stand of the pixel it got 4 gigabytes but but we got a limitation of uh, you know 5 gigabytes so definitely you cannot use more than that and sync temple and 2 holy crap it's again reloading so that's fine no need to check for which one loads faster subway surfer oh man that's not good. Everything got reloaded here, so that triggered two. Got reloaded both the phones. So which one is there? X Fall 8 in the memory should be. There we have it. This one here in the memory. And so X Fall 8, guys, is the game. In all of my speed tests, uh, this guy is taking a lot of memory. It's just pushing everything out of the memory. X Fall stream. So got reloaded by both the ones here. So I don't see any difference in terms of memory management. Even you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, it's kind of same stuff as a 4 gigabytes of RAM. So definitely, guys, uh, 8 gigabytes doesn't meant for us as not today. Even though it is snappy performance, that what we can get the benefit. Let's go give a try and see what the number says of the key benchmark. Three, two, one. So we are about to complete the results here and slight edge is going toward the OnePlus 5 and as expected I never said my pixel will be faster than OnePlus 5 but numbers are pretty pretty high here you can see 6591 and let's see how does the pixel speaks up with the dead view 3 and right O and hoping should be near to 3k somewhere so wow that's a great number indeed the multi score is not too low compared to the Android O 8.8.0 so guys this is for the uh, Keep. let's try out for the end of the benchmark and where we are on those tests and numbers so those were the last number that we saw for these devices and let's see where we are so guys i'm pretty surprised to see how faster pixel is going compared to oneplus 5 so i was just thinking you know uh, what will happen when the oneplus 5 will get the android o update at the end of the 2017 so it's gonna be you know i cannot imagine how fast it should work but it's going very great so uh, Pixel, that's why I would do this test with the Android O because Android Nougat was quite laggy here on the Pixel compared to the OnePlus devices. But this time, I'm really hoping uh, that is the highest score I have seen. So last I saw was 178K and this time it is 179K. Let's see about 121, I guess that was here. Uh, so how fast uh, that should go. So scores are pretty low. So doesn't mean it's fine guys. So. There you have it guys, we have done almost all the things here, so time to conclude the test here. So, you know, Pixel guys, uh, I'm not recommending Pixels to anyone because, you know, there is not much fancy tweaks that you can get in other custom ROMs which are even close to stock and right, just give you an example, but first devices, Oxy OS ROM. But Pixel devices are meant for, you know, uh, smoother performance. I'm using both the devices together, even my primary phone is the Pixel, even though I am using Galaxy in the side by side. I somehow like the Android O a lot here, it is a smoother device, most of the times I never had any issues and some of the benefits that you can still get with the Google Pixel, check out my top 5 reasons to buy the Google Pixel and not to buy in 2017 and regarding OnePlus 5 is pretty snappy device, slimmer profile, you know a lot of customization to it. So overall for a really a faster performance device OnePlus is for you. And still you want to consider Google Pixel XL, please check out my top 5 reasons to buy and not to buy. 
And again, it's a great device to get the taste of the latest software from the Google and upcoming Android version. So when check out the camera comparison also, you might get a better idea how the Pixel camera is one of the best among still performs against among the five devices. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Have a great day.